So we took the party inside and we got the Anki overdrive set up, right? I haven't, I haven't played with this in like, I don't know, 10 years or so since, since it came out. So we got, um, we had to do some updating to the, the firmware in the app when I downloaded it. So it looks like the app is still there. So I think it'll work. These two cars are the one that it comes with. The skull one and the ground shock one. The problem I'm having is the the, the batteries from being, I don't know, I, I'm hoping, I think, I think the problem is, is that the batteries are, you know, 10 plus years old and went bad. So I went on eBay, I found replacement batteries for these two, right? So what you have to do is apparently you're able to take these apart. I'm guessing I'm going to try to do it at work one day this week, but you take, you know, you take the little screws out and then these, I don't know, they look like lipo batteries. They look like little lipo batteries, but you solder in, you solder in the new battery and I'm hoping to get these cars working again. But I did buy these I found on eBay also. These were brand new, brand new in the box. Um, the Freewheel and the X52 Ice Edition. They have a regular X52 that, that's red, but this one was white. We thought we thought this one was pretty cool, so we just sent it. But anyway, I'm gonna open up the app and I'm gonna have to try to, these car, these cars are out for now. These are these are need to go in for service. So we're gonna service those hopefully. And then I'm gonna try to connect these two cars to the app, and then we're gonna uh, I don't know, see if we could uh, play with them a bit. So we're having technical difficulties. We're trying to figure out what these lights mean on top because I cannot get them to link up to the phone app um, so we can play with them. So we're gonna do some more digging around. This one's flashing. This one is steady. This one's blue for some reason, and this one is steady. So these two are brand new. The two trucks are brand new. The, those batteries should be good. I'm like 99% positive the batteries in these are shot. But um, I don't know, we, we may have to come back to this another day. So final update, we got the cars to drive from right here to here and here. This one, the battery's completely shot, but like the trucks, the trucks are good to go. So I'm gonna change these batteries out at work tomorrow, hopefully. And we're gonna try this again tomorrow night. So we gotta take off. This little guy right here. Right. And then we're gonna take this apart. And then this probably is not the best tool for this because it's conductive. But we're just going to pop the edges up. Like so. And then that's going to be our battery that we're replacing. Okay, so now we're going to peel up our battery. It's got a little bit of double-sided tape there and then we have our negative that's marked by the negative and positive that's on the positive so I'm gonna try to do this without burning anything but we're gonna take our negative off first and then you know try not to try to touch as little as possible when you're doing it and then we're gonna take our positive off okay so this battery's all puffed out. That one's junk. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of this on there. This is just flux to help the solder flow. And uh, you know, we're we're not even gonna add. We're gonna not, we're not even gonna add any new solder to it. We're just gonna hopefully, if I could do this without destroying anything. We're just gonna sink it right back down into um, the existing solder. Got some double-sided tape. 
So we're just gonna fold our wires back and uh, stick the new battery. Stick the new battery down. So we're just gonna try to make sure the wires aren't blocking these two pads right here because that's where the motors attach. When we flip it back over, we'll get those little wires. Get these little guys in place. Make sure our motor's like a, all uh, situated. Cool and that's it. So now we got both of our cars turned on. We can bring them home and make sure that they charge properly. But these batteries were total toast. See how puffed out they are, both of them. So we're gonna take it home and send it. Okay, so we got our overdrive uh, car batteries replaced. And then the trucks we were still working on the other night, not too much luck, but um, we got the track set up again, just a basic, uh, basic oval and then um, we're gonna send it and, and, and see how it does. We also got um, the other day, we got the Overdrive uh, Fast and the Furious um, special edition track. This one's unopened. So um, I'm not sure if we're gonna open that one yet or just like keep it as a, um, you know, like a collector's thing, but I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so this is the Overdrive app. Um, we're gonna do start game. Um, you know, just do open play. We'll, we'll try race. Uh, leave leave it at 15 laps, select, and then we're going to select a vehicle, so we'll select first the, the, the ground shock, the blue one, okay, wait, hang on one second, uh, and then we're going to select, I don't know, crash bot as the drivers, and then that'll be the skull for the second one, okay, now we're going to hit continue, and, okay, so uh, the two... Uh, take the two little cars. Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to put them on the, yep. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And do you see it just, it just lit up. Right. Begin scan. Okay. So now, now we got the, now we got the cars on the track. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. And it's scanning. Oh, uh, that's so cool. Oh, 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 okay. You, you got the blue one? I already got the blue one. Okay, so now it looks like they're done scanning. Okay, now we're going to begin the match. Okay, you guys ready? Race begins in three, two, one. Okay, so over here, we can, we can use this to adjust the speed. Whoa, you see him still almost spin out? You have taken the lead. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, man, he almost spun out again. Oh, I don't know what that was. The red one, the red one just went off the track. Skull is off track. Please replace before resuming. Okay, is he going to come back? I, they're, they're, I feel like the red one has never really worked properly. Tractor beam. Okay. I tried to hit him with the tractor beam. I can get used to this. Okay. The, the red one's off the track again. It's the track. Skull is off track. Okay. Let's turn this up now. Oh, that's the pause button I just hit there. Okay. No, I, you know, I, I'm not so sure if there's like something that's not wrong with that one. Okay, let's go back it. Let's go back and see if we could get one of the. Let's go back and see if we get one of the trucks to work. So we're gonna hit start game, open play, unlock super trucks, right? 
Super trucks are nearly three times the size of supercars and use their heft, weapons, and new control systems to dominate the track. Okay, place your super truck on the charger. So we have both of our super trucks on the charger. We're gonna hit practice. And then uh, learn to use your super truck's weapons in a practice match. During practice, the enemy commander won't fire back. Select. Okay, so now we have the the white one. Wait, Blake, you're moving the whole track. Okay, just don't lean on it, it's okay. Okay, the X-52 and the skull. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. Okay, so yeah, Blake, put the red one on the track. This. Yep. Yep. And then Ethan put the white one. I got white. Okay. Now we're gonna hit begin scan. Oh, they're going! They're going! They're totally working. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, the X50. Okay. This is part of the problem with buying 10 year old cars is that I, I just got done, like you guys saw, I replaced the batteries in the two cars. Um, now these, these two trucks I just bought that were brand new in the box, I think they need new batteries also, but we're, we're going to try, we're going we're gonna to try to play it, but they're, they're totally working. The app, the app still works. Oh. Super trucks are controlled differently than other vehicles. Let's learn about them. Okay. This is telling us about our weapons. And then uh, we're going to try them now. Okay. So we're going to use our pulse pulse ram. Let's see what that does. I think it basically the red one. Did it do anything to the red one? Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, the red one just crashed again. That's not a nice word. Sorry. Okay, acceleration. Okay, try it now. Okay, now we're gonna hit the gas pedal. Oh man, it's totally working. Whoa! He almost spun out. He almost, he, he's almost going off the track. Oh, he passed him. Totally passed him. Okay. So we hit the gas pedal here to speed up. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's um. Okay, I want to get the other truck to work. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we kept seeing on the internet that um. That the, the app didn't work anymore, and people like weren't allowed to or weren't able to play this that that owned the overdrive um, sets. But I mean, it, it it still works. It still like everything works. Like I said, I had to replace the batteries in the cars, um, and then I downloaded the app off the app store. It was like uh, I don't know. It was like three dollars to download the app off the app store, but um, I mean, it, it's totally playable. It's, it's hard to play with my phone that I'm filming with, and then we have the other phone that's sort of controlling it. But when we're, when we're here with both phones, it, it's completely playable. So if you guys have these tracks at home, take them out, fire them up, go on eBay. I'll put the link in the video for the, for the batteries. And I'm, I'm gonna put in the, um, the video of how to change the batteries out as well. It's uh, really a piece of cake. And you could bring this thing back to life. This set was like, I don't know, 180 bucks and it was brand new. Now there, now you could get them brand new on eBay for like 30. It, it's it's pretty cool. I, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but I mean it's a really cool toy, for sure.